Hi, my name is Mike Mahan from the SMA Solar Academy. In this tech tip, we're going to cover the installation and commissioning of the Revenue Grade Meter Kit for the Sunny Boy US line of inverters. The Revenue Grade Meter Kit is an easy to install add-on for the Sunny Boy US line of inverters that provides plus or minus 0.5% accurate measurements of output power. The energy meter is mounted on a DIN rail that installs directly inside the inverter and the CT is correctly wired on the AC cabling from the factory. Before installing the revenue grade meter kit, ensure that the firmware version of the inverter is at least 2.04.81.R. This can be verified through the user interface or by knocking on the lid of the inverter. The firmware version is shown on the second screen with the label package. For a new Sunny Boy, the firmware version is printed at the bottom of the label on the shipping box and also on the serial number label on the included production test report inside the box. The most current version of the firmware for the Sunny Boy inverter line can be downloaded from www.sma-america.com. The firmware can be found on the Sunny Boy product page under the Downloads tab in the Firmware section. Download the zip file and extract the file onto the device that will be doing the commissioning. You will need to enter the serial number for your device. Once the firmware has been updated successfully, the revenue grade meter kit can be installed on the Sunny Boy. Power down both the AC and the DC to the inverter, and after at least five minutes, remove the connection unit lid. Ensure that the LCD board ribbon cable is detached. The revenue grade meter kit ships with the AC plug connector to the power unit upper part of the inverter. Remove the existing AC plug if needed by loosening the two screws on either side with a small standard screwdriver and remove the plug. To install the DIN rail, the meter must be taken off so that the screw holes are accessible. Release the meter by gently opening the latch at the bottom with a small screwdriver. Once the meter has been removed, attach the DIN rail to the screw holes in the back right side of the connection unit using the two supplied Torx 25 screws. Tighten to 25 inch pounds. Before reinstalling the meter, it is helpful to attach the RS-45 cable to the bottom of the meter with the green plug if it was not connected on shipment. Once the cable is attached, reinstall the meter on the DIN rail. Attach the AC plug to the inverter and tighten the screws on either side. If this is a retrofit into an existing install, remove the AC conductors from the original AC plug and trim if needed. Insert the AC conductors into the correct terminals next to the meter along the DIN rail. Ensure that the AC ground is connected to a grounding point before attaching the AC conductors. The last step is to attach the other end of the RS-45 cable to the inverter. To bring the meter data into the inverter's communication channel, either the RS-45 module or the cellular module is needed. Please note when ordering that the part number that ends in dash 45 includes the RS-45 module. The part that does not include the 45 does not and is intended for use with the cellular modem kit. If using the cellular modem kit, the RS-45 cable attaches to the plug at the bottom right. If using the RS-45 module, the RS-45 cable attaches to the plug in the center left. The plug to the center right needs to be populated with the included resistor. In this video, we will use the RS-485 module. Whichever module is used must be installed in the left expansion slot. Now the connection unit lid can be reattached. Ensure before reattaching that both ends of the ribbon cable to the LCD board are secure. Turn on AC and DC power to the inverter. Once the display begins to cycle and the blue LED stops flashing, log into the user interface and select the installer user group. If this is the first login, choose a password for the installer group and then choose configuration with installation assistant. On tab four, select energy meter from the drop down menu for module slot one, which should say SMA RS-485 module. Note that if the cellular module was being used, the label would be SMA cellular modem module, but the choice is still energy meter. On tab five, select SMA revenue grade meter for the energy meter used. All other choices in the installation assistant should be made as appropriate for the installed hardware. Once the revenue grade meter has been commissioned, the AC power and several other parameters shown in the user interface utilize values from this higher accuracy meter rather than the inverter's internal meters. Furthermore, the power production values displayed in Sunny Portal are also based on the revenue grade meter data. 
We hope you've enjoyed learning how to install the Revenue Grade Meter Kit. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the product page at sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan from the Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.